we'll guide you through how to enable and get facial tracking on Roblox Mobile. If you find this guide useful, consider subscribing and liking the video and let's get right into this. This guide should work on both iOS and Android devices. The steps are very similar um, and I'll guide you through them. So the first thing we need to do is go to our Roblox settings. To do that, you just go to the bottom right and click on the three dots and then you'll be on the more page and scroll down and then tap on the settings. Then you need to click on account info like this. And what's important to know is that you do need to be at least 13 to be able to go and use your camera and facial tracking. Then what you need to do is just come back to the main settings and then tap on privacy. And in privacy, you then need to scroll down and see you go and see camera input. And it then says use camera to animate your avatar with your camera movement. So I'm going to go and switch this on like so. I agree to this. I'll go and click and then press enable. Just like that, we've now gone and enabled it. The next thing we need to do is make sure you're using a compatible Roblox head. Let's close off the settings and then tap on our avatar button at the bottom like so, and then tap on customize. And then what you need to do is just go to head and body. And then what you need to do is under heads, as you can see here, I've got two. You need to make sure you're using a head, which has got this little sort of smiley face icon in the bottom right. This means that it's enabled for um, camera and for facial tracking. If it hasn't got that icon, it means it's not going to work. And another thing I did was as well is go and take off any smiles or faces as well, uh, just so I had the head. So now that we've done that, now what we can do is go and get into a Roblox game. It's important to note that not all Roblox games are going to be facial tracking compatible. I'm going to join this camera face game here. So I'll click it and then scroll down and you just need to locate communication. And as you can see, this has got microphone and camera. So I'm going to go and join this game here. And you're likely to go and get this pop up here saying Roblox would like to access the camera. So make sure you go and press OK. If you don't press OK or you don't get that pop up, what you'll need to do is go into your device's privacy settings or privacy settings. So go and open up your settings, then go down to privacy. It should be similar on Android as well. And then tap on camera and then make sure Roblox is enabled. As you can see, mine is. If you're unable to change these settings, then it's likely there's some sort of parental control on your device. To go and change that on your iPhone, you'll need to go to your screen time and the person who set it up can change it and on Android will be different. But let's go back to Roblox now. Once you're in a compatible Roblox game, you can then just tap on the camera button just above your face like this. And as you can see, there I am. If I go and zoom in on my face, you can then go and see me moving my head and moving my mouth. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.